हेलो क्लास टुडेज टॉपिक इज अनियन द प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ अनियन अनियन इज टू वेल नोन क्रॉप टू नीड एनी डिस्क्रिप्शन इन द ओल्डेस्ट रिकॉर्डेड हिस्ट्री onions were depicted as food in egyptian tombs as early as 20 bc and they are also onions are also mentioned in bible as well as in quran so it is a worldwide culinary everywhere it is grown the botanical name is alium sepa a double l i u m alium sepa c e p a sepa it is commonly known as onion and it belongs to the family lilaceae l i l i a c e a e lilaceae it is a essential it is an essential ingredient in many african sauces and mostly produced locally in india it is needed in every each and every type of onion eaters food egypt is the first producer in the continent and onion is picked for cooking as well as condiment for flavoring or pickling it is grow, grown almost all over india the most important onion growing states are maharashtra tamil nadu gujarat uttar pradesh andhra pradesh orissa and bihar india is one of the largest producers of onion followed by japan spain and egypt so it is the most important commercial crops of india so initial stage is a bulb so it is known it is also known as a bulb crop and it occupies the 3 lakh 84400 hectares of land in the country to cultivate and it needs further extension also now types of onions the following are six different types of onions in india first is green onion used as vegetables as well as salad then mild onions used for cooking as well as salad pungent varieties used as condiment and flavoring of number of foods than pearl onions or white onions these are small onions used in pickling vinegar pickles including vinegar pickles etc then white and yellow onions for dehydration purpose for making onion powder and the white onions are the desired desired quality or preferred pearl onions are the small white onions and uh, big white onions are used for powder making red and yellow onions are general purposes for culinary uses in our homes as we know now the composition of onion bulb that is the whole onion the whole raw onion is onion bulb this is moisture don't miss understood by the wrong spelling so this is moisture 
86.8 percent in onion bulbs and moisture in onion powder is 46 percent so almost the half of the fresh one so we can see the composition of raw onion bulbs and onion powder So these bulbs and fresh herb yield 0.005% of an essential oil which has an acrid taste and unpleasant odor. The chief constituent of the crude oil is allyl propyl disulfide, a sulfur compound responsible for tears. So now we know why we tear when we cut or chop onion. Even in red varieties when we peel onion then also we tear. So now we know the prop the reason behind it the crude oil or the essential oil which is extracted that is allyl propyl disulfide it is responsible for our tears now onions are also kept in cold storage during summer the best temperature for storing onion is 33 degree Fahrenheit to 36 degree Fahrenheit. In degree Celsius, it is 1 to 2 degree Celsius with a relative humidity of 70 to 75 percent. As we can see, this is lower humidity in comparison to the fruits and vegetable because the moisture content of the onion is low that is 86 percent. So, 70 to 75 percent humidity is for storing the onion is right now inhibitors for sprouting of onion during storage a great variety of chemical compounds have also been tried to increase storage life of onions by inhibiting sprouting why sprouting is a defect and while sprouting lowers the shelf life because we know that the sprouting is the time where onion gives life to the onion next onion so for giving life it should accelerate its metabolic activities to convert complex compounds to micro compounds like carbs from fibrous compounds to the sugar to accelerate the life of next bud so because of the disturbance in the structure of the bulb the original intact shape structure and taste of the bulb it is known as a defect because end user likes the intact texture and the pungent taste smell of the onion the post harvest application of growth inhibitors could not prevent sprouting of onion due to the reason that the growing points in the onion are so firmly enclosed and protected by layers of leaf bases as we know that the base of onion is very intact and strong so these chemical spray fails to penetrate the 
स्टेम सिस्टम फ्रॉम वेयर द ग्रोथ ऑफ नेक्स्ट अनियन और स्प्राउटिंग स्टार्ट देयर फोर द इनहिबिटिंग केमिकल्स आर अप्लाइड एज प्री हार्वेस्ट फोलियज स्प्रे वेन फोलियज ऑफ अनियन is cultivated into the ground the farmer's ground it is the time where growth inhibitors are spread the intact growing point translocated translocates chemicals or stimulus to the meristematic meristematic region making possible a penetration of growth substance the best results are obtained by spraying malic hydrazide in the concentration of 2000 ppm one week before the harvest of onion crop so pre harvest spray before the harvest of one only one week before the harvest of onion crop not pre because it will cease the growth of bulb that we need so after the full growth of bulb the spray the chemical growth inhibiting chemical spray is given to the foliage the plant the small plant which is known as foliage to the leaves and stem it the spray goes there and from there it goes underground to the our onion bulb to inhibit or restrict the growth which checks the sprouting rooting rotting and reduce the total loss in the weight of onion bulbs even when held at room temperature so now post harvest handling it involves series of operations right from curing curing word is used for processing of spices and condiments immediately after harvest to neck cutting sorting grading neck cutting is done to give shape to onion then sorting grading packaging sorting of good quality and grading is done on the variety shape and size sorting is done to eliminate the rotted or mechanically damaged produce grading is done on the commercial basis then packaging and transportation then curing curing is the processing onion bulbs immediately after harvest are allowed to lose extra moisture by keeping them in field under shade it is necessary for having thin and closed neck and a firm outer skin to avoid extra moisture loss during the storage period so the outer layer is dried and strict so that the shelf life could be extended so this on farm processing in shade under shade uh, can take 2 3 days up to week depending upon the season sun availability so then neck cutting leaf tops are removed after initial curing then 2 cm neck position is left with bulb to obtain complete closure and thin neck so leaf tops are cutted and it is cured to 
have to obtain complete closure of the mouth or thin neck so that to avoid injury to the now sorting and grading to avoid loss due to rot during transit storage any damaged and rotten onion can rot the whole lot so sorting is necessary then uh, they are grade on the basis of commercial point of view that is extra big is the best grade that is over 60 mm diameter and small is small bulb is 20 mm diameter so 60 mm diameter is the export quality the grade a then packaging it depends on the destination if for local market it can be transported unpacked or in gunny bags then distant market jute can be used then for consumer packing the magazine paper can be used jute bag small jute bag or nylon nylon netted bags can also be used then filling and closing of bag it's a manual operation and depends on the need what will be the weight then labeling for marketing it doesn't require any type of labeling but but for export it uh, it needed uh, egmar label as well as quality certificate so now processed product a number of products are been manufactured on a commercial scale like uh, dehydrated onions onion flakes onion rings crumbled onion that are crumbled onions means shredded onions and onion powder onion salt a small uh, pearl onions as uh, vinegar pickle onion paste for use in the curry so numerous number of products are processed for dehydration purpose white onions are preferred and uh, quality parameters for white onions are it should be white in color then tall globe shape with 5 to 6 cm diameter then high total solid content because this total solid will only convert into powder and moisture more or less will evaporate so high total solid content is important uh, uh, above 15% preferably 20% of the total solid high total solid content is needed then high degree of pungency because this is the characteristic taste and flavor of onions so high degree of pungency is needed high yield is needed good high yield of powder should be there high yield of pungent flavor should be there then good keeping quality that is 2 to 3 months then freedom from joints because jointed onions are difficult to process uh, you have seen the two or three jointed onions in a one that are difficult to peel and cut and process so uh, joint onions are sorted they are not for automated plants to be powdered and disease free of course then dehydration of onion dehydrated onion is produced by removing water from the raw onions to a maximum level of 4.25% so from 86% the moisture content reduced to 4.2% then 
milling to a specific particle size to convert it in a fine powder uh, onions are dehydrated without blanching or sulfating in order to project protect enzyme system which develops onion flavor because blanching and sulfating can release the volatile compound the pungent allyl sulfide so uh, this will reduce the flavor the pungent flavor and we strictly need that characteristic flavor into the powder so when onion cells are cut down or broken the enzyme enzyme starts working flavor and aroma develops only when the onion is damaged or cut and flavor precursor compounds undergo enzymatic decomposition to form a variety of volatile sulfur compounds which give onion their characteristic taste and aroma so during cutting it also reduces the uh, color and uh, sorry the flavor the taste and flavor already reduces because the volatile compound releases so that's why we avoid blanching and sulfating because cutting is the necessary step in dehydration of the onions prior to to drying onions are cleaned and peeled ta roots and tops are removed peeled onions are washed and sliced and uh, it is important to note that while blanching cannot be used to control bacteria the thorough cleaning operations and conditions of drying remove large number of microorganisms when blanching or sulfating is cannot be used then the cleaning operations become very much important the remaining are primarily the spore forming types which are resistant to time temperature treatment of drying but they can't create health hazards so onions are dried on stainless steel continuous conveyor belt which passes them through 3 to 4 stages following a carefully controlled time temperature program and uh, why they pa they pass through continuous conveyor belt through a temperature time and temperature program because uh, continuous conveying will create the even heating of the onions and it will not scald or burn the onion on outer covering so optimum uh, amount of moisture is removed at at every stage each and every stage and successive conveying is there then onion powder is the grinding dehyd dehydrated onion slices in a hammer mill now what is the hammer mill this is the hammer mill we can see to produce the onion powder these are the swinging hammers this is the feed feed is onion slices as we know this is the rotor which rotates this is the rotor which rotates and this is the breaker plate this is the hammer and this is the baker breaker plate this is also the breaker plate so onion slices will go down as a feed and hammer rotor will rotate and friction will be here 
so this will convert into powder and this is the screen or sieve from which desired particle size will go down so these are the swinging hammers so now you can understand that how the onion slices are converted into so now storage of the onion powder air tight containers if it is not done that and cool and dark place why because if it is open it can absorb moisture that then if we if powder will absorb moisture it will become granular cakey pasty and ultimately get mold attack and why in the dark place yeah because light will leach out the color and flavor now the composition of the powder you can see the composition of the powder moisture to the calories 370 calories per 100 gram now you can see the all composition of the onion powder then onion salt what is onion salt onion salt is onion powder and addition of iodized table salt then anti caking agent which is necessity of anti caking is the necessity of a salt so the combination of uh, onion powder salt and anti caking agent like anhydrous sodium sulfate is the onion salt now this is the physico chemical characteristic of dried slice flakes feces feces is not feces actually it is pieces p i e c s and crumbled onions we know grated onions this is the onion powder and grits what are grits the small stony type irregular shape things which are removed during uh, which are on the sieve during the powder making these are the grits powder goes down from the sieve and uh, grits remains on the upper portion so these are the now we know the uses uh, it is stimulant diuretic and uh, culinary use medicinal use uh, industrial use so there are so many uses of onion now i think it is clear the lecture is clear and you can prepare the handwritten notes based on this lecture